Welcome back to In and Around the Lake. I'm Phil Lusardi, and today we are both in and around Lake Minnetonka. We're on a boat. We're breaking up ice. I'm here with Bob from North Shore Marina. Bob is not only breaking up the ice so that summer can get here faster, he's also protecting his marina. How's it been going, Bob? Yeah, it's been going good. Uh, it's kind of all refreeze, about an inch and a half, maybe two inches in spots. But it's enough. Uh, a massive sheet of ice with the inertia can just snap the poles right off. So you got to get it. You got to crush it up, and make slush out of it before it gets to the docks. Otherwise, it could be uh, it costs thousands and thousands of dollars. So when you say that we're going to make slush out of it, did you bring any tequila? We could have a couple of margaritas. Margarita mix, yeah, we call it the margarita mix. We love to see that in and around the docks because it's a good cushion. There you go. So yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're making the first margaritas of the season here on Lake Minnetonka in Smith's Bay. It, uh, has this boat got a name? I didn't see. No, no name. No name on this boat. It says Bob on the back. It says Bob on the back, so, you know. And also, Bob pointed out this is a, a Sea Ray. Yeah, it's an old Sea Ray. I don't even know what year it is. 80, probably an 81 or an 82 Sea Ray. Yeah, so it's an 81 or 82 Sea Ray, and it's tough enough. It's not equipped with any special equipment. It's tough enough to break up this ice yeah. without any special equipment. So if you're an owner of a Sea Ray, you've got a tough boat. All right, let's break some ice. This is, uh, this is my 24th year, and I've never seen it like this. Never a double. I mean, this is actually double ice out. Oh, is that right? We were fighting ice over here last week. And all of a sudden there's no ice, all of, you know, soft water, and, and, you know, then the temperature dipped. Well, everybody knows what happened. So you're calling this a double ice out? It used to be a double ice out in our book. And, yeah. and do you ever remember, you said you, you don't? Not 24 years. Here it is. I'm a part of history today. We're, we get, we're in the middle of the double ice out. And uh, you know what? Maybe that's the name of the boat, the double ice out. The double ice out. There you go. I just, I just christened the boat. <laughs> oh, it, oh, yeah, six, six more payments and this baby's all mine. <laughs> I was thinking I would have grabbed a rod and a, a bucktail we could have trolled. We're into some pretty thick stuff now. And, and, and Bob was just explaining to me that, uh, that, tell me again what happened to you a couple years ago. Oh, I uh, went into some real hard ice and I gunned it and the boat jumped up on top of the ice and tipped over on its side. I had to have the guys pull me off. <laughs> Which reminds me, I didn't bring any sandwiches. Did you bring sandwiches, Bob? I did not. I no. forgot all about it. <laughs> all right, well. <laughs> Next time. Yeah, and no sandwiches. We don't have any rods to catch any fish to eat. Uh, it's going to end up like Gilligan's Island out here. That's it. The cookie's Skipper! You always like when the captain says, I think we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, that's it. You know, I could, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could swim this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to try, though. Yeah. The polar plunge was last week. Oh, boy. So, oh, here's something I'd never do. Yeah. Not that, you know, it's not for a good cause, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you got any bets on the official ice out? You know, some of these bays are pretty locked in. I mean, uh, I'd say at least another week. Yeah. That's sooner than I would have thought. Yeah, uh, I mean, at least another week. But we got temperatures that are going to be, you know, up in the 50s, you know, for the next several days. It's going to get down below freezing at night. That's what keeps it around for a while, you know. If it, if it didn't drop below freezing at night, it'd probably go pretty quick. But 
be at least another week.